Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for Thursday, October 28th, 2021. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. All right, power of number six. We could see the lover's card kick in. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian energy throughout the month of June. Power of number eight. We may see the strength card also kick in. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo throughout the month of August. Power of number five, the Hierophant energy <clears throat> could make its presence known. You could be dealing with a Taurus and or a Gemini throughout the month of May. Okay. So we are going to go to the power of number 19. With the power of number 19, we could see the Sun card kick in. So a lot of you guys could be dealing with Leo energy. We may see the Devil card kick in. Uh, sign of Capricorn through the power of number 15. The moon card could show up. You could be dealing straight up with the Cancerian and or the tower card. Some of you are dealing with another Scorpio or possibly an Aries. Okay, so where did my deck go? Oh, there it is. Okay, power of number 19, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and 19 okay Trusted ancestors, what is going on with Scorpio's specific person, the one that they care about the most, the one that they think about the most? What is going on with this person's energy for the day commencing for Thursday, October 28th, 2021, please? What's up with them? Ooh, <clears throat> somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Oh, there goes Toto. <laughs> The Ten of Cups, you guys, this person wants to have the Ten of Cups energy with you. They want to be back together with you. Maybe you okay, Toto, that's enough. Well, she's definitely confirming. Okay. All right, that's enough. Toto. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road, Toto. Okay. Ten of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and or a Scorpio, more specifically. Trusted ancestors, why does Scorpio's person want to have this over the rainbow moment with Scorpio, please? Why? Well, they're going to be racing and charging ahead towards in, in your direction, Scorpio. Trying to get my words out this morning. Um, Princess of Swords, I view this as the Knight of Swords. So they're going to be cutting out distractions. Maybe even you, Scorpio, are cutting out distractions in and around you right now. Just maybe you're focused in on your home life right now. Maybe you're trying to make things look really pretty um, for the fall here in the United States, for the fall holiday season for some of you. Um, maybe you've just been very driven, Scorpio, because it, you know, we're at this tail end of the year. Maybe there were personal dreams and goals that maybe didn't quite get up and running, but the ideas are still circulating. So this is like side messages I'm picking up here from spirit. Um, this person is going to start cutting out distractions, but we'll see specifically what it is that they're cutting out in order to have this Ten of Cups moment. This is about emotional joy, contentment, peace of mind, peace of heart. And this could also be about you too, Scorpio, as an individual going through your own healing process. Okay. Some of you do have kids. You might even have twins. You might have a boy and a girl, possibly. I feel like this person thinks the world of you, Scorpio. There is something magical about you, 
that this person I feel cannot deny. Maybe all it is a matter of clicking those heels together three times and saying there's no place like home. Let's see what else is going on. Why does this person want the Ten of Cups with you? Wow. <clears throat> Look what fell out. This person is coming in with a major offer, major commitment. For some of you guys, it will be during also to the winter time process after the winter solstice kicks in, which is on that cusp line of Sagittarius into Capricorn season. We are still technically in the month of October, power of number 10 through the 10 of cups. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you, trusted ancestors. <sighs> There's nothing more than, how do I want to say this? This person knows that they're meant to be with you. And I feel Scorpio, however deep your love runs for this person, you know that you're meant to be with them. This is your soulmate. You can call it a soulmate. You can call it a twin flame. It's really what you label it, Scorpio. It's what you label it. A lot of Cancerian, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy going on. There is Leo energy going on. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy as well. That doesn't mean that the rest of the signs are not there. They'll, they'll pop up. This person could be reconciling with you within the next two minutes, two hours, two days. Could take up to two more months. Could be right before the end of the year for some of you. What kind of distractions is this person cutting out in order for Scorpio to be, for Scorpio's person to be with them? They could be cutting out a Gemini more specifically, but... Whatever the distractions are, they want to manifest a new beginning here. And a lot of you guys are in manifestation mode for this person. You're praying, you're meditating, you are calling on your spirit guides, your guardian angels, you know, maybe to protect this person from these karmic situations. Oh, this person, I feel, oh, there goes Toto, she's confirming. Thank you, Toto. But that's enough, baby girl. This person is one manifesting a new beginning. And I did say all signs could get represented because we have the cups, the swords, the wands, <clears throat> and the pentacles. A lot of you guys are working with the law of attraction, manifestation, bottom of the deck, the star card. You are the shining star. This person views you as the star, the little superstar in their life, Scorpio. Some of you guys could be in the public eye or you're dealing with somebody who is a celebrity and or in the public eye. They could just be very popular among their peers. Okay. Um, this is about community. Maybe some of you guys also work in the volunteer uh, arena. Maybe some of you guys have also helped volunteer maybe with the Salvation Army during the, uh, you know, throughout the holidays collecting money you know, for donations and things like that. Or I do feel I'm, I'm picking up, uh, somebody, uh, works in, um, is it, uh, I can't think of what the medical technical term is. Ob obstetricians. Uh, it's, you know, um, if you work in the medical field, but you work with the, uh, the aspect of children, Maybe some of you guys also donate to the St. Jude's Foundation for some of you, for children who have cancer. I'm picking that up from Spirit. Maybe some of you guys do pray to St. Jude for some of you. But whatever it is, Scorpio, this person, I feel, cannot get you off of their mind. Every time they see you or if they look at a picture, they just, you stand out. You stand out differently from any other person that they've ever known. 
and reconciliation and healing and cleansing. A lot of you guys are taking spiritual baths or you're learning about taking spiritual baths. You're learning about detoxing out your energies, learning how to raise and lift your auric force field so that you start drawing in what it is that you want unto you. You're learning the art of manifestation. You're starting to learn a little bit more as time goes on how the subconscious mind works, that 95% of your thoughts are dictating your reality, your outcomes. But this person, they're wanting to manifest. And I feel like you are in manifestation mode. A lot of you guys are just, are starting to make plans for 2022 as to what it is that you want to accomplish. Okay? Message from the two of cups. This person could definitely be single now. They may not be dealing with a third party situation anymore, or they want to take you off the market, but, but they also see you on the grow, Scorpio, that you're confident, you're strong, you're independent, you're brave, you're bold, and with the energy of and the symbolism of the hawk, you're remaining focused like a hawk no matter what. And this person feels this energy off of you. This is a soul tie. It is a soul connection. That's some major, beautiful energy. Yes, guardian angels. A lot of you guys believe in the power of your guardian angel. This guardian angel, your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, the universe, Jesus, God, the ascended masters, they're all looking after you, Scorpio. They're trying to put you on the path to success that... You are worthy. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of ultimate health, wealth, prosperity, abundance. You're meant for everything good in this life. And see, there's that rainbow. The over the rainbow moment, and it's coming in through the Ten of Cups. So your trusted ancestors know how you feel about this person. They know how they have hurt you. They know it all. Spirit knows all. And they want you to be happy. Your great-grandparents that have passed on from you, they want you to be happy. They want you to be with the right person. But there is somebody coming in that you know of, Scorpio, or that you have dealt with. They're coming in for reconciliation. This person wants to be in your presence. They want to feel your hug. They want to feel <clears throat> the warmth, your embrace, your touch. Maybe some of you were in a situation with the person. Maybe, like, you might have had a date with this person. Or, you know, maybe you went out a few times. And maybe there was a really good, strong connection. But it maybe it never materialized the way that you wanted to see it go. Maybe they just dropped you like a hot potato or they, they ghosted you. And you're wondering what the hell you did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. This person got fearful in the past. Maybe this relationship didn't materialize the way that you wanted to see fit, you know. So keep your vibrational frequency high, you guys. When you focus in on diet, exercise, nutrition, you're going to start drawing in a lot of good things unto you because your energy levels are going to be elevated. Cut out soda. Cut out excessive sugar. Cut out excessive fat, fried foods, things like that, you guys, because, you know, for the last two weeks... I've noticed how my energy has shifted amazingly because I've been meal prepping for the last week and it's been doing wonders for me. I've cut out soda. I'm not even craving sugar anymore. Even after a few weeks, I've been through th two detoxes. I went The first detox I went through to shift my vibrational frequency, I went on a detox diet for 75 days. Right before my mother had gotten diagnosed with cancer. And then over the summertime, I was still watching my frequency. I was watching my diet. Yes. And I got my weight down to where I needed it to be for my height and all of that. Right? And I have had weight fluctuations. 
your weight and your health everything determines also to your manifestation abilities you guys you have to be at high peak performance and not only that when you focus in on diet and nutrition if you are experiencing any form of depression that feeling that vibrational frequency it's going to alleviate from you because you ask your 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 trusted ancestors your spirit guides and your guardian angels to give you the encouragement the support the guidance the determination to go the distance when you're looking good you're feeling good you're gonna not only just attract your specific person scorpio you're gonna attract other people as well when your hair's looking good your skin's looking good your body feels great you get up in the morning you got energy all of this it's so important This person sees the future with you. And I think deep down inside, for some of you guys, do see this future with this person. Okay? Message from the magician. Well, that Ace of Pentacles just wanted to kick out. Thank you, trusted ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, guardian angels. Ace of Pentacles. Bringing in a major offer, they're going to cut out the distractions. They're going to tell you that they want to have a brand new beginning. Some of you guys will be getting engaged during the wintertime process. They've had a lot of time to think this over. They've been in hermit mode for some of them. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo and or a Libra throughout the month of September for some of you. Message from the Ace of Pentacles. They are going to cut out whatever third party situation and they're coming for you. They are coming for you. Show me this Three of Swords activity, trusted ancestors. My spirit guides and my Sicilian ancestors. Trusted ancestors. Yes, they're coming for you. Sign of Leo, sign of Cancerian energy, also kicking in through the chariot. You guys are on the path to success. Your trusted ancestors and your spirit guides and your guardian angels will always put you on the path of success if you ask. And you play your part accordingly, Scorpio. You can't just, you know, because we're co-creators, we have to be able to do the dirty work ourselves, quote unquote. There will be things that will fall into our lap like serendipity, okay? And we will get blessed abundantly, but we also have to put in our own action. We can't allow depression, hurt, anger to keep consuming us as individuals. That's why it's important to always work in on yourself. To work in on yourself is self-love. To work on your passion, dreams, and goals, that's self-love. To work on your body, your health, your fitness, your wellness, all of that, that is self-love. <clears throat> this person's coming in, and they're coming in fast. Six of Wands, bottom of the deck, recognition and achievement. Show me the Ten of Cups, trusted ancestors. How is this person going to bring in the Ten of Cups to Scorpio, please? Okay, they're going to come in to balance the situation. Equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy also coming in. Show me more about the Six of Pentacles. What is the balance? What is the balance that needs to come in? Okay, they're going to ask you out for some of you. They want to take you out. And they're going to cut out the, that third-party situation, whatever it is, friends, family members, whatever. They're bound and determined to have you. Message from the Chariot, my favorite major arcana card. This person could also be traveling in at a great distance to see you, Scorpio. The Moon card, but it's coming up in the reverse. They're going to expose truths or you will, you will find out through other people that this person's not dealing with a third party. 
all these deep-seated hidden emotions that they've had for you, Scorpio, coming in through the Two of Cups, it's going to get exposed. They're going to tell you that they're single. Message from the moon in reverse. Mm-hmm. They're not going to juggle you anymore, Scorpio. Two of Pentacles in the reverse or juggling situations outside of you. Or they're going to tell you they're not juggling. Other people, places, things, or situations. Judgment card on the bottom of the deck. Guardian Angel, Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the angel of communication. Trusted ancestor energy coming in because it, it, it is about our trusted ancestors who have passed on. They want the best for you, Scorpio. They do also want you to make the right judgment calls as well in your life. How will this person ask Scorpio out, please? In a very loving way. Six, The um, power of number six coming in through the lover's activity. This person's in love with you. And when you least expect it, here comes this cup of love, four cups on the bottom of the deck. You've been feeling stuck, alone, trapped, feeling bored. You know, get active. Get active, get busy. Get busy on your personal dreams and goals, Scorpio, because there's a lot of things that spirit wants you to accomplish in your life while God and the spirit and the angels are working in on this person in order for them to come in with a cup of love, okay? Well, I guess the Four of Cups just wants to kick in. Yes. Get active. Get busy. Don't be in this stuck energy. This isn't you. This isn't your true self, Scorpio. Your true self is also too prosperous. Health, wealth, abundance, your spirituality growing in such a big way. Okay? Remaining confident, self-assured. Confidence is what drew this person to you in the first place. Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support in my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.